So let us talk about itanium processors today. And uh, in this, the itanium processor family actually came about for several reasons. But the primary one was that the processor architecture advances of risk were no longer growing at the rate seen in 1980s or the 1990s. That is why itanium processor family was introduced. And moreover, uh, this uh, customer continued demand greater application performance. As uh, applications are made, gaming is uh, in uh, boom. So people wanted or the customer wanted that they should have a more powerful performance oriented processor for that itanium was introduced. This itanium is a family of 64 bit Intel microprocessors that implement the Intel itanium architecture. It was formerly known as or called as IA64. Intel markets the processor for enterprise servers. You know, you need to note this enterprise servers and high performance computing systems. So this is specifically, you know, meant for or introduced for these two markets. The Itanium architecture originated at HP and was later jointly developed by this HP and then Intel. Itanium based systems have been produced by HP, the HP Integrity Server Line and several other manufacturers. So as of 2008, Itanium was the fourth most deployable microprocessor architecture, fourth most deployable uh, or deployed microprocessor architecture for enterprise class systems. So we are talking about enterprise class systems. And this uh, kept behind x64 uh, x86-64 power architecture in Spark, of course. The most recent processor, Paulson, was released on November 8, 2012. Now, what are the challenges? Today's architecture challenges are, first of all, you have sequential semantics of ISA, industry standard architecture, then low instruction level parallelism, also known as ILP, some unpredictable branches, some memory dependencies, you know, more memory dependencies, I must say, and ever increasing memory latency and ever increasing memory. Memory is also increasing and thereby memory uh, latency is also increasing. There are limited resources like registers are less, memory addresses are less, also procedure calls and loop pipelining overheads. All are these, uh, you know, itanium, or I should say not itanium. These are the challenges with most, uh, most of the high performance processors. So what this IA64 or itanium processor, uh, perform, this architecture uh, has given, what are the performance features? IA64 or Itanium is explicitly has parallel instruction semantics. The predictive comment is there. It control data speculation and massive resources like registers and memories which were lagging is present. Register stack and in its engine that is RSE is there. RSE. Uh, I'll show you in this in the diagram. The memory hierarchy management support is there, then support, uh, this support for software pipelining is also available. These are all the performance features of IA64. Let me also, you know, give a glimpse of RSE, this register stack engine that you are going to see in the, in the diagram, a black box block diagram shortly. In, this improved performance by removing latency, this is which is actually associated with saving a restoring state for function calls and hardware implementation of this RS or Isaiah functionality is by RSE. 
Now, Itanium pipeline, also Itanium 2 pipeline. Let us see what are the stages of this pipeline. Itanium has instruction pointer generation, fetching, rotating, expanding, renaming, word line, uh, decode, register, read, execute, exception, detect, and write back. While in item 2, it was only, or it is only 8. Before I proceed, let me show you this Itanium, also popularly known as Merced. This is how this uh, processor looks like. And this it was produced from 2001 to 2002. Well, the manufacturers are Intel. This is the maximum CPU clock rate uh, from 733 to 800 megahertz. These are the FSP speeds. The instruction set is Itanium. The codes were one. It has L2 cache, L3 cache. Uh, L2 cache was 96 KB around. And healthy crash was um, 2 to 4 MB. The core name was this Merced. And as I earlier mentioned, ITDM 2, uh, it has eight stage instruction pointer generation, rotate, expand, then rename, then register, read, execute, detect, and then finally write back. ITDM 2, also popularly known as McKinley. Uh, was is actually produced from 2002 to 2010. This is how it is seen, and you can find out the difference between Itanium and Itanium 2. Manufacturers Intel CPU uh, clock rate went from this 800 megahertz uh, maximum to 2.53 gigahertz. The instruction set was Itanium. The cores not one but one, two, four, and eight. L3 cache also increased around 256 KB on Itanium 2 and all these combinations are also possible because these series I'm going to show you just now. L3 cache 1.5 to 32 MB. This is a huge number, huge number as far as this L3 cache is concerned. Then core names are these, McKinley, Madison, Hondo, Deerfield, Monte, Cito, Montevale, Tequila, Paulson. I'm going to show you all these in a short while. But before it, we proceed to those uh, all options itanium available with us. This is the itanium to block Tigra. Now, this is what I was talking about register stack engine hardwired now. And this is IA32 decode control. And now we have branch and predicate register 64 bit. We have integer RGB register 128. And with branch units, we have integer and mem mutes separately. These are L1 cache. This is fetch engine instruction queues. This is L2 cache. This is L3 cache. And this is floating point registers and floating point units. Uh, this is a glimpse of what all Itanium processors were, were introduced. First of all, we have this item, then we have item 2. Itanium 2 900 series, Itanium 2 9100 series, Itanium 9300 series, then Itanium 9500 series. This is what we were talking about Paulson, which was introduced recently uh, in the 2012, and the nanometer size on the, of the processor is 32 nanometer. This is a huge, you know, decrease in the size. And hyper threading, dual domain hyper threading was introduced. While the previous one we had so somewhere it was turbo boost, somewhere it was virtualization and multi threading. So, all these you know, Dell uh, has introduced from right from Mercer to now Paulson. Now the Itanium architecture was designed to be the industry, a new industry standard in high performance processor architecture for next 20 years. The Itanium processor captures the best in class application performance for technical and enterprise computing out of the box today. However, given the continued development of chips and compiler of this unique architectures is also bright. So we are going to have more of them in the near future. And let me conclude by saying that I64, the design processor, um, based on or you know the counterpart I32, the design is quite fluid. Its operational characteristics are entirely controlled by the compiler or assembly programmer. So in all, it is an obedient server of the programmer 